Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and I have another quick Christmas card to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Dainty Topper Die, the Gnome Dye's Baking Add-ons, along with Mrs. Claus Baking Co. stamp set. And I'm using Doodlebug's Gingerbread Kisses, six inch pad, their matching odds and ends, and the 12 inch sticker sheet. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut out the oven mitts from that six inch gingerbread kisses pad from Doodlebug. And they got this great poinsettia pattern on them. And I'm just inking around the edges with close to my heart's white daisy ink. It's just a white pig pigment ink. So I cut a piece of paper, um, one eighth of an inch smaller. So it's, I guess, four and an eighth. Uh, because this card base is four and a quarter by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter inches. So you have a four and a quarter inch um, square card. And I'm just applying that paper layer that was cut from that same pad with my ATG tape. Now I'm taking this dainty topper die. Remember, these topper dies don't have to just be used for toppers. So there we go. I'm using it for a layer on my card, right? So I'm lining it up. It's just pattern paper from that same six inch pad from Doodlebug. And I'm taking the stamp set. That's that um, really cute stamp set from Jada Blossom. What's it called? Mrs. Mrs. Claus Cooking or Baking Co, something like that. So I'm going to stamp that in Verse Fine Claire Nocturne Ink. Just a little sentiment from it. There we go. Cookies for you. So I'm using, like I said, my Misty and that Verse Fine Claire Nocturne ink and stamping it a couple of times. On the inside, I'm going to add a sentiment from that same stamp set. There we go. And I'm just trying to decide where it's going to end up. Uh, because I have a cute little piece of odds and ends from that Doodlebug Gingerbread Kisses matching line. So I wanted to use that. So I wanted to make sure there was room for that underneath it. So I'm just going to stamp my little sentiment. There we go. And it says, have a scrumptious holiday season, which I thought goes with the cookie theme. Now I'm going to add a, some cookie paper from that same six inch Gingerbread Kisses pad from Doodlebug. So it's just nice and easy stuff. Whoops, that is if I get it stuck down straight. There we go, and I believe that's just like a half inch little, little scrap that I have, but that's not gonna matter because I'm going to be using um, a border sticker from that, the 12 inch, I guess there's a 12 inch sticker sheet that comes with the 12 inch paper line, Gingerbread Kisses from Doodlebug. So I'm using that uh, sticker border. Now I'm going to add on this adorable little piece of ephemera or you know, die cut or whatever you want to call it from Doodlebug's Gingerbread Kisses. And I'm going to have it hanging over the edge and I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. And you saw I glued it down there. Now I'm pulling out my secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10, and I'll add a few little dots and highlights just for fun because it really doesn't take any time at all, at all to do that. And there we go. Now this is the layer that I'm going to cover up that little handle area with. There we go. And that's the layer that goes with the topper, right? So that's what you would cover it up with on the topper, but I'm covering it up using it as a little nest for my images. So I cut out my rolling pen from Nina Desert Storm. And then the little um, handles were cut from Paper Trank Pure Poppy. Then I've got the cookies cut out of uh, Nina Desert Storm again. And I'm going to add little sprinkles, sprinkle paper that I cut out from that Gingerbread Kisses six inch pad. There we go. Actually, you know what? That's G-Mint Tindalo cardstock and wood grain, but I'm using the opposite side. It's just a little bit darker of a craft. Now I'm adding it to this American Crafts little silver tray that I cut out with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. Now I'm going to pop up the little oven mitts as well in the upper right-hand corner, just for fun, because, you know, 
different levels. Dimension is awesome. And then I will pop up this little rolling pin as well. So I'll just do a little bit of trimming and, and adding some dimensionals to that, which always just adds something I find. And this is a really simple card. No gnomes on this card, but I'm using the gnome assemb uh, the little gnome add-ons for this. So, you know, to me, that's like a perfect little, uh, you know, situation there, right? There we go. So I'm adding on my little tray. Now I'm pulling out the shape sprinkles. Those are called gingerbread trimmings. And I'm going to add a few little hearts on this little background because why not, right? There we go. So I'm adding on all of these little hearts and I'm trying to decide what else I'm going to do. I always, I kind of hoard shape sprinkles. I don't use all of them. I've got tons of them. I've kind of made a deal with myself that I'm going to start using these things. And I also have these hearts and I'm sorry I don't have the name of them, but they're doodle bug hearts. They probably came with one of their lines. And I'm going to be adding three red ones to the background, two in the upper right, or one in the, or two in the upper right, yeah, one in the lower left, or two in the upper left, one in the lower right. Oh, it's a long day. There we go. And then I decided I'm going to take two little hair bows from the Gnome Dyes hair add-ons, just the bows. And those are cut out of pure poppy and add them to the mitts, the oven mitts, just for fun. And there we go. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by, by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you, as always, for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you're a follower. Bye, everybody.